stand culture. When I hear the term stand, I see this as both an obsession yet a passion. A passion because you really love something, an obsession because you really love something. So when I hear about standing, I get really confused about it because I know that there's good people who are stands. Even though the, the obsession is not a very good idea, it's not a very good thing. I know that there's like good people who are stands, who are in who are in that type of culture, and really just enjoy what they like. But it gets overclouded by the toxicity that is the stand culture. You know what I mean? I, I uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, please understand me. That's my opinion on stand culture. Like, there are some good people. But it gets overclouded by the bad part of stand culture. So I'm gonna know what you're wondering. Uh, why am I bringing this up? Well, um, very good question actually, because around earlier this month, Josh posted something, and it was talking about stand culture. So I kind of want to read that right now, just because I, you know, I want to make some, I want to make a video out of this and just share my thoughts on it, basically, but mostly make, make a video about it. It starts off by saying, if you're a stan and a part of a TW, TWT, what the fuck is a TWT? No, it's a Twit group. Okay. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm not that close to Twitter for reasons that's obvious, or participate in any activities associated with the culture, please unfollow. I cannot tolerate it any longer and wish to have nothing to do with it. I don't care if it has to do with me or somebody else. The culture is toxic. So first of all, who the fuck does this on Twitter? Second of all, you're saying that the culture is toxic? It's like 99.9% .9 toxic. So you can forget, you forgot that 0.1% that is not toxic. <laughs> I know it's very hard to see, but you know, I'm pretty. Yeah, there can be people who really like it. Just really like standing. I can't believe I fucking just said that, man. It's, it's fucking... The culture can be toxic. I lied. It mostly is toxic, but the culture can also be like very wholesome. But no one is not doing that right now. I, I see nobody doing that right now. I barely see people doing that. So then he continues on by saying, Every experience I had with the community is negative. I am sick of looking at Instagram and seeing that I am tagged in another edit made with some garbage phone app. I am tired of people... I'm sorry, random people obsessing over me and more so obsessing over people such as Dream. Alright, uh... <laughs> first of all, damn, he just called people out. Or people who just make it look you remember those um well i want to say you remember those do you know those edits where they just you know you already know you know you know what the fuck i'm talking about i don't have to explain myself oh my mic yeah he just called them out which <laughs> is kind of funny in my opinion and yeah obsession is not very a good idea mostly because it's just it's just unhealthy most more so and he and i do agree with them uh, it can't get tiresome of random people obsessing over just anything he says that the experience that he have with the community is negative uh, yeah i don't he's not really talking about any positives so it's just mostly all the negative experience that he has which kind of makes sense since the community is overclouded and overfilled with toxicity I also want to add a little thing that the fact that he called people out on editing the videos, I feel like that that shouldn't have been not have been called out in my opinion because it's people who really like to do those stuff and who are we to judge? You know, you know, it's my opinion, but you can you know go to fuck off. You can make your own decisions. I'm not here to stop you. He continues on by saying, These people are unwell mentally. Their obsessions with online personalities only amplify this. They are immature and easily influenced. Their principles and views are never their own, but rather those of various content creators which they watched. True! On circumstances. He talks about the immature and easily influenced, and I have to agree on that part because there are people who think, Oh, my favorite content creator does this, so let me just do the same thing. 
Like, if your favorite content creator says N word, would you do it? <laughs> uh, probably not. So I get where he's coming from by the immature, easily influenced, because that can happen to people who watch these types of people and idolize them. And the addition of uh, the the content creator's opinions can affect the people who are easily influenced and immature. And the people who are influenced and immature don't have their own voice or opinions. Is just. The same as the content creators. I realize I have to read all of this. Uh... You no, know I'm just going to skim through this. All right, here we go. So, he continues on by saying, There are a malicious hive mind who exists in a bubble in which immoral actions are taken by an individual simply because their moral frame of reference is people who do similar things. Their worldview is completely insane and exponentially worse because of it. Twitter has amplified this as the platform has become overrun by this garbage. So please, if you are part of any of these circles, I want nothing to do with you or your collective hive mind. It's disgusting. I believe primarily in the individual and the culture. Individual does not exist in the collective that is the Stan or Twit community. Tweet, twit, tweet, twat. <laughs> it's repulsive and entirely against my principles. If you are part of these communities, I suggest you leave. Even if leaving means losing your friends, you should- Whoa! Die. As those most likely weren't friends to begin with. This beast to be slaughtered. <laughs> this is a horrifying that it even exists. It, it is horrifying that- You know what I mean. It's just- It's, it's uh, fucking awkward, man. It's just- You know? So, well, he was trying to get the- This is- this is really just horrible because of how negative and toxic it can be. And the fact that he says that if it means losing your friends, you should do it. Hey, yo! 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 Okay, hang on, hang on. I, I would have to stop you right there, buddy. I agree with everything except losing your friends. Because you can have your own opinions. You can have your own side. And hopefully it does not affect um, any relationships. Oh, like, hey... Um, one likes bananas and hates apples and the other one likes apples and hates bananas that doesn't mean that you should lose your friends because of that really it's just like if you're if your friends have a different side they want to be on and you have a different side that you want to be on then okay you just don't have to lose your friends so the funny thing is that dream replied to this tweet by saying you're an idiot and then Carson says, no, you're an idiot, stand these nuts. <laughs> and then I saw the worst reply, but said, and they said, no wonder you got cheated on. You have to do So, Dream's definition of stands, and it says this in his tweet, it says stands. A group of people trying to be other people with similar interests while expressing this interest through shared morals, love, and creativity. That almost sounds like a fan slash community, a group of people. That's not what it is. The term for Stan is an overzealous or obsessive fan of a particular celebrity. A guy named Spiffy, who says to generalize a entire culture stands on a few toxic people is ignorant. Quote unquote, few toxic people. Because I still agree on some circumstances that there are people there are people in stand culture who really like to share this type of thing and not get all yeah. <coughs> I, think I kind of agree with them to the point where yeah there are there are people who are in stand culture who love to share this but it just gets overclouded and it's not really shown as much because there's a bunch of toxic people in the stand culture so, the fact that he, this guy said a few toxic people is ignorant. Well, yes, it is ignorant to say that the entirety of the culture is to is toxic. He could, it couldn't just been like, oh yeah, like there are some few good people in stand culture who are not toxic. It's not really shown as much because of how much toxic people are in that community. So, at the end of the day. You know, there are people who disagree with Josh, people who agree with Josh, and 
I'm pretty sure there are people who are just neutral, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I want to recap on what my opinion on stand culture is. When I hear stand culture, I'm like, I know that there is good people in the stand culture community who are like, who are not like the, who's not like the rest of them. It's just like, people really enjoy this. And it, it is considered an obsession. There are people who really enjoy this and just want to make something good out of it. Just share the creativity and love with it. Wholesomely. Wholesomely. The reason I say that because the, the rest of the community of stand culture is just really toxic. And I'm talking about like, let me, bring, let me bring up an example. Like, for example, people are drawing not safe for work art or fan fiction. And fan fiction. Both, actually. Of, like... The uh, stand community, for example, they are doing not safe for work fan fiction about Tommy in it. Yeah, the the British guy on a chills that. Yeah, I. That's I, that fucking sucks, man. Because who would draw and write not safe for work fan fiction about a 16 year old guy? The worst part is that they're not even like ashamed of it. They they even even some people on Twitter admit it that they're not ashamed of it, and. That just makes you really think about the stand culture. Like, I, you gotta grab that little, little, little thread of the ball hair, and have a little bit of hope uh, that there is good people in stand culture. It's just overflow of too many toxic people. There are good people. There are also a bunch of bad people in the community. So, am I agreeing with Josh? Damn right. Am I agreeing with Dream? Damn right. Am I agreeing with the Spiffy Man? Damn right. I'm agreeing with every single people because there are good people in like some small communities and culture so um there was a video actually i was editing this and i realized that there was a video basically what he said in the video is um about the same thing that he did on tweet about what stand culture is in his eyes which is basically just fans and a fandom but i will show you this little clip so the word stan doesn't mean stalker fan as much as you can google the definition and say it does my stands are a group of amazing incredible creative people that are some of the most supportive people on the planet. I beg your pardon. So I would have to disagree with him on some points. I'm glad that he's looking on the bright side, but you also gotta look on the negative side. You're not, that's not coming from, just from only me. It's coming from other people who made video about his fan base and it's stan, the stand culture, the negative side of his fan base and stand culture. You know, just like the topic, we're drifting away like how, like how other people are because Dream was being involved. And no offense to Dream, but he was kind of a basic example. I'm saying this because most commentaries about his fan base are considered to be toxic. I'm glad he found the good side of his fan base, but you also gotta check on the bad side to see what's going on. The recap of this entire video is, I know that there's good stands in there, but it's being overclouded by bad stands. And the fact that Dream found good side of his fan base and stand culture is pretty fucking great, but you also gotta look at the negative side and address that type of negative side. I don't disagree with Josh, nor Dream, nor Spiffy. I agree with all of them on most occasions. I felt like Josh could have presented this more better because it seemed to have a like a little negative side effect same thing with dream if he presented this more better then it wouldn't have that much of a bad response from people i'm sorry that if i repeated my statement i just you know i wanted to get it out there so yeah thank you for watching um this is my first commentary actually so i might, might want to do some more depending on how i feel on what kind of content i want to make I know I want to make the same old gaming videos like Berserker video and the memes I've been, you know, fucking around with. But I also want to add that into a little category on stuff I want to make. So yeah, that's about it. See you.